Hey gang, it's Ark. Welcome back to our Tales from the Far Territory um, blind exploration. This is in Interloper. And we just found our way to... What is this place called? Um, maybe it's in our journal. The Junker's Paddock, I believe. Um, there's a nice trailer here. My condition's down to 41%. Uh, but I think I'm going to tank a few more percentage points here. Because um, I want to get... I've already got um, three guts and hides working. And I want to get some more going here. Let's go ahead and um, just harvest the hide and the guts off of these by hand. Ooh. I think the guts are faster with the hacksaw, right? So, um... Yeah, I don't know that it matters which order I do these in. Let's just do the hides. And um, I'm actually going to leave the rabbits outside tonight to freeze, and then I'll just harvest them with the hacksaw um, sometime tomorrow. Um, I do want to get to sleep quickly because we're burning a lot of um, tomorrow's daylight uh, by doing this. Let's get all these hides off by hand. It's costing me about, um, well, it should be 2% per hour in, in total that I'm uh, wasting by doing this. What is going on here? Is it really the lightest one that still has the hide on it? It is. Okay. Odd. Alright, so that's three hides. Let's go ahead and fill our water up. Close enough. Um, now, let's drop those and work on the guts. So this is faster with the hacksaw. I'm happy to spend the condition to save 30 total minutes on doing these three. And then... Should be this one, right? No? Okay, so it's the last one. I wonder if they're actually staying in order. Oh, there's, they're uh, sorted by condition now. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's all three guts. Let's uh, go ahead and put these down and get everything else organized in the morning. Oh, I didn't want to drop that rabbit carcass. Let's take those outside to freeze. Should be right next to the door. There it is. Okay, we'll loot all this other stuff um, in the morning. Definitely want to stop burning condition now. Double check I'm good on water. We'll be fine for the night. Uh, the beds are over here. A little bit of light in here so we can see what we're doing. Um, fine on temperature. Let's go ahead and figure out what we're eating tonight. Um, I, mean, I guess we'll go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff. The sardines are actually in good shape. All right, so we eat 300, 350, and a cattail. That should put me just under 800. Yep. And uh, fill up on water. We'll get our 10 hours of sleep. Get a bunch of health back. Should be around 35% um, back. Double checking. Yep. Okay. All right. I think we're going to spend um, a couple more nights here. Oh, yeah. That that really healed us up. As long as I don't lose too much tonight, we'll be nearly full health. Or um, too much today, we'll be nearly full health. Um, it's already midday, so we're going to spend a lot of time I'm gonna eat a tree. running around today. 
Okay, uh, let's see. So first of all, let's get a little organized here. Um, honestly, those, those can just stay there until they're cured. I don't really care about moving those around. What else did I drop here? Just some water. Let's take a little bit of water with me. Um, probably not going to start a fire for the meantime. We've got some stuff I can break down in here if I'm trying to kill time later on. Um, what did I leave in here? Just a bunch of stuff, yeah, that I don't need to worry about. Okay. Let's go see what there is to be done outside. Looks like negative six. Well, I guess let's go and search everything around here first, even though the temperatures are good. Just to get it out of the way. I gotta eat soon. And, oh, look, there's a note here. Polaroid. Nice. Okay, um, and yeah, at some point we're gonna survey out here. Get this place marked on the map. Okay, other vehicles that I can check for notes and stuff. There's a soda. And I've been thinking about what I'm going to do with the starvation tactic. Um, I mean, it's kind of a necessity, or at least it was for the first few days, because I was insistent on actually getting here. Um, but now there's a couple of things I could do to mitigate that. You know, I could start um, setting up snares once I get my... Um, resources for that. Um, but it's kind of weird, like... Starvation really... motivates you to continue starving. Because it's like, sure, I could spend a whole bunch of time... getting all the resources needed. Whoa, there's a ton of coal here. That's crazy. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, um, just... I could spend a lot of time getting everything I need... To make the snares. I'll keep writing as long as my hands hold up. Uh, fly in. Okay. Doesn't seem to be saying much. There's no way they can make me fly out. Hmm. Wonder if we'll get more context for that at some point. Okay. And then... No glove box to search. Alright. Fair enough. Yeah, so I don't know if I finished my thought on that, but the basic idea is I kind of just rather spend my time exploring than trying to nail down the food source. Um, I don't know. It feels cheesy, but on the other hand, it's... Oh, look, there's more rabbits here. Well, I might as well go ahead and get those curing. Crazy amount of rabbits. All right, let's just take a quick look over here. Make sure I'm not missing anything important. It looks like the road comes down here and loops around. And goes down, and this is kind of below that ridge line that I was up on uh, last episode on the way in here. Your crows over here. Oh, right. I need to pick up stones. Okay, so we can't go for this rabbit right now. Go investigate what's up with these crows. And I gotta just make a mental note. Next time I see stones, we're gonna... I think it's just the one rabbit. I'm gonna start collecting on those. Got a stack of, like, 50 sticks back at the trailer. We really don't need to pick these up. I'll just grab whatever's directly in my path. You can always, um... Stash more back there. Okay, so we have a deer. Um... And I need to make sure when I harvest this that I'm ready to grab everything. So I actually need to start a fire in order to... I don't know if I need to pick up feathers... There's no way to make, um... I don't think they added the new arrows. And I can't get a bow, because I don't have a knife. I 
One deer isn't really going to net me anything anyway. In terms of clothing. I can always come back and get that one. Whenever I want. Sounds like we got a waterfall here. Looks like I've looped around down to where this road breaks through. Can we get up there? Looks like it. Oh yeah, I need to be running. Gotta burn all this energy up so I can sleep again tonight. Negative four. I think that's, um... Might be taking into account... Well, it's at least that we're wind-sheltered here. So it better be returnable. Looks like it is. Okay. Stony Passage. Okay, so we're up behind the waterfall. It goes down much further than I thought. So much for staying near my base today. Alright, so we've come out on the other side, maybe? More rabbits. Well, if I get some stones. No stones in the stony passage that I can recall. False advertising. Now this doesn't look like I can get back up it. Yeah, that's drop, drop, drop to get down there go back around this way and see... Nope. This is also dropping down. So if I go down there, I'm committed. Um, unless I'm just missing something. Like, maybe it is walkable to get back up if you're persistent. Not willing to risk it. Um, let's go back. We'll get the... Um, I'll just keep in mind that this is here. And see if I can find another way over there. Should have maybe done a survey over there. It's okay. It's pretty obvious where that is. At the very least, maybe I can come do a survey from behind the waterfall here. That's just up towards where the deer is, if I remember correctly. So let's ignore that.
All right, let's head back. I'm going to work on some stuff to get warmed up. We can um, potentially harvest some. My fingers feel numb. Uh, meat off of those rabbits. Pretty late. I'm not really that tired. I'm gonna have trouble burning all the energy. I'm not sure I can carry much more. That I need to burn. Let's see, I might be warm in this truck. Uh, I need maximum warmth. Warm up quickly. Nine degrees. That's not much, but it'll do. Okay, 12 minutes on this. Not really getting much out of this. I think we might end up um, passing time in the bed to get the extra warmth. Or just maybe starting a fire. I hate to do it when... Well, I guess I need to cook this rabbit meat up anyway. Eh, maybe. We'll see. Um, did I? I feel like I forgot something. Did I get all the rabbits? Oh, I just didn't pick this one up. Okay. Alright, last rabbit. Get this harvested. Good amount of meat on this one. Looks like the weather's getting worse, so rather than warming up fully... And staying here, I think I'm going to go now. Try to get my exploration in before the weather turns. So we're just going to um, accept the fact that I'll probably take a little bit of cold damage here. No point in starting a fire because it looks like it's going to get windy. Also, why do I keep picking up all these sticks? <laughs> just leave those there. I'll come grab them later. I need them. Alright, so there's a waterfall up there. And my route for before takes me back there. Grab a couple of sticks just in case I need to start a fire. Okay, so we got some kind of gorge here. Can I go that way? This is very confusing. It looks like I can climb up that log. Looks like I can travel both directions along here. Let's stay on the high ground and see... Why would I want to do that? Let's see if we can find out up here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Wait, did I come this way? I guess I did. I didn't realize that it wasn't going to be returnable. Alright, well we got ourselves into a pickle. Let's see if I can get out of it. Um, so we're clearly going to want to go down... Well, we can explore in both directions, but... This is nasty. Can I get on this log? Can I just kind of skate down here? Alright, let's just run over here. And then get down here. Well, I guess I might as well go explore this little area over here while we're here. Maybe there's some cattails or something. Definitely going to want to run. Now that I'm... 
I mean, I got the resources on me to survive the night anywhere, but I really want to get out of here. Looks like that's one way up and out. That takes me even further away, though, from where I want to be long term. I got some stones, so... Wasn't a complete loss coming down here. It really looks like there's not much to offer here, though. No cattails. Ah, oh, okay. This would be such a frigid place to hang out. Just right next to the waterfall with all this spray coming on you constantly. Alright, I guess first and foremost, let's focus on getting up and out of here. We might not even be able to do it here. That looks really steep, too. We're going directly into the wind, too, which is so annoying. How slow you are here. Alright, I think this is traversable. Yeah, we're good. Now this should be the other side of the stony path, so that would be one way back. Uh, let me see if it's possible to get up there. I guess that's the first thing. Pick up some more sticks because we might need a fire at this rate. Fortunately my clothing is holding up. Okay, so it doesn't look like I can get up there. At least not from that angle. That's a rabbit, not a wolf. No reason to panic. Looks like you can kind of cheese this maybe. You go all the way along and get up here. And then I should be able to climb up one of these, right? Yeah, so if you're persistent, you can get up here. Um, maybe not up that, though. No, it's still not clear that you can actually do it. Jesus, this is cold. Okay, it looks like if it is possible, it's not intentional. Or maybe they put it in here just for people who like to do this kind of thing. Alright, I might be able to get up there. I'm not sure. I kind of want to know for sure, though, before we just quit. Now, it looks like you can't make that. And I'm not sure if you can do it around the other side. Maybe? Maybe? No, it looks like you can't. Alright, there may be a way to do it if I was more persistent, but... Let's focus on things that are actually going to help me here. Definitely got myself into a tight spot now, because... don't know if there's a reasonable way back over. Yeah, so I'm just on this side of the ravine now. Seemingly permanently. Let's get to the high ground here. Yeah, so I went down into the ravine there. And where I want to be is on that side. So that's why they made that stony route or whatever one way. Think. It's still ravine. I'm actually freezing to death now, so we might need to start a fire. Well, a couple of rabbits here. I see that arch there. But I'm also thinking that there might be a useful location up there. Doesn't look like it. Oh, so cold. It 
Wow, this just opens up to planes here. Well. Okay, I feel like they intended for you to get stuck over here, right? Because they put the they put the stony path there, so that's one way that you could come and maybe not realize that you were taking a one-way route. And then they put that area down to the ravine, which I didn't realize was a one-way route. Now, I could have followed the ravine in the other direction while I was down there. There's probably another way down into it. Yeah, and I won't be able to climb back up here, but I just, uh, I want to commit to this. I want to explore the ravine and see if there's a way up on the other side. Oh my goodness, there's a bridge right here. So I probably could have stayed up there and gone across the bridge. so cold in my life. Looks like, yeah, definitely not traversable. Come on, let me get through here. No? I was actually warming up in the wind shelter there. That's gonna save me a lot of health. It was like zero. There's some birch saplings. This is goddamn freezing. All right, so it looks like I made it to the other side. Let's see if we can get on the high ground and get back up around here. I think I'm just gonna go back to my base at this point. Um, why did it get so quiet all of a sudden? What am I hearing flapping? I'm so nervous right now. I feel like there could be anything here. Okay, there's a truck. Is this just the road again? Uh, maybe I should investigate. I could just keep following this road. I've come so far here. Uh, let's try to go back. I need to confirm that this is actually a route back. And there's something to explore over there. All right, well, I'm going to get healed up a bunch again tonight. Um, check my hypothermia risk since it's been a long time. Okay, so basically there's something off to the right here to explore. Maybe. Or maybe that's just like a little extra area there. Why are there no predators anywhere? There's no animals except for the rabbits. Maybe they're out in the that sort of plains area over there, and they just didn't put them here. I feel like this is pretty unusual, though. I mean, this is just standard interloper. It's not even custom, so I can't imagine that um, something got messed up with the... Oh, please tell me this is the same road. I didn't get myself lost completely. Did I need to take that bridge? No, there's no way I needed to take the bridge across, is there? Oh, maybe I did. 
No, because I came up on the correct side of the ravine, right? Is that the waterfall over there? I can hear the waterfall now. Yeah, okay. I think we're good. Yeah, so the bridge across led to that road that goes to that big open plain over there. And then the airfield was kind of to the right of that, which is where the uh, which was where the sign was pointing. Okay, let's get back up here and get inside. There's my pile of sticks. We're almost home. And since I'm already tired, I think I'm just going to take an early night here. Uh, get healed up, and maybe we'll, um... Man, I could use a drink. Maybe we'll take advantage of my sleep schedule being a little bit off. I guess the other option is I could just kill this rabbit and, um, harvest it. And use that to get later in the night. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Alright, well, we've learned, um, what not to do. Taking a little bit of extra damage for this rabbit. Uh, maybe a lot of extra damage. Eh, never mind. You get to go free this time. I'd lay down right here if I thought I'd ever wake up again. Alright, let's go ahead and get the satisfaction of healing up. Um, I'm gonna save all of these, I think. Yeah, they can all be heated. At the very least, it's cooking points. I'm not going to bother with a fire right now. We'll just eat six cattails and go to sleep. I've got all that rabbit meat out there, um, but I'm not going to use it tonight. A little bit disappointed with this run. Oh, we got the soda too, so... Let's see, 250, so we need 500, so... We'll call it four more cattails after that. I'm going to bed very early here, so... Unfortunately, there's not going to be a way to get tired enough to sleep again quickly. So tomorrow I'll probably do stuff that doesn't involve spending a lot of energy. Um, okay, we're safe. Um, repairing clothing. Maybe harvesting some stuff around the base. Probably start a fire and get the deer harvested. Um, as soon as it's not windy out. Health is pretty good. Um, I just need to kill a lot of time tomorrow without taking a lot of damage. I could eat anything right now. And now that I know that everything is so far away, there's not really much point in exploring much stuff, right? Because I have to travel all the way down that road or across the stony path. And then um, basically head one of two directions on that road. But that's quite a ways away. So let's see. What do we want to do this morning? Um, we've got a few tasks to work on. We've got clothing. Um, I don't think I'm going to make another improvised head wrap. Because we're probably going to make... Um, yeah, the mittens are pretty good. So I think we'll make the... Hmm... Let's make the rabbit skin hat first. Just trying to think, what can I really do with my time here? I don't think I can survey right now. Yeah, it's too dark. Nice clear day, but... Or right, nice clear night, I guess I should say. I already got these. Guess I can go get that rabbit. It's here. That'll be something to work on. <laughs> Terrible shot.
I don't know why, I feel like I just got really lazy with the rabbits. Like I was doing so well. And then now I just, um... Starting to feel kind of being really lazy with the uh, whole thing. I guess I'll take the time to get a little closer this time. Nobody saw that? Taking damage for no reason here. Always good. Really? Wait, there's another rabbit. Alright, let's go inside. I'm gonna do some stuff for a bit, and um, we'll come out and get those in a minute. Uh, let's see, what do I have to work on? Clothing-wise, um, what needs to be repaired? Wow, these things get torn up so fast. Let's see, the jeans, I guess I'll put some into that. We're not going to have pants for a long time. Oh, it's dark. Okay, never mind. Um, well. Guess I can harvest this. And let's just go ahead and craft some. I'm gonna do some rose hips. Do an hour of that. Okay, let's do this repair and then we'll go outside. What was I saying? Pants? Yeah, they're in the worst shape. Only 30% for an one piece of cloth. And that's if I succeed, which I did not. All right, well, we're warm. Let's go get these rabbits. I think I just need to chill out today. No running. Um, just get some rabbits, get a bunch of meat, harvest the deer. Cook everything up. Let's just get nice and close and make this easy. Alright, is there another one around? See any movement. Wow, nice clear skies. Wind chill is negative ten. I wanna wait until like it's completely silent like it was yesterday and then we'll uh, start the fire. Um next to the deer over here. I can actually take the rabbit meat over there and cook it while we're harvesting. All right, well, we'll come back and get the other rabbit later. I'm just trying to kill... I'm so cold. I'm warming up a bit. ...kill time today, so I'm going to go ahead and take the... ...hide and guts with the... Yeah, I'll do them both by hand. The guts take longer by hand, uh, but that's fine. And then, you know what? We're going to be cooking the meat in a minute. Let's just do that by hand as well. 36 minutes. When we get the water, or um, when we get the fire going, we'll make some more water as well. I think I might actually be out. Yeah, we're actually really low on water. Okay, so that's another thing I need to do. Um, I think I did this in the wrong order. Yeah, that's got... Let's go drop that inside. 
It's actually nice and calm. I think we'll do the fire now. Um, go ahead and drop the gut here as well. Or the uh, pelt. How are these doing? 94%, 59. Yeah, so these, this was the first batch. Yeah, it's going to be a while. It's going to be a couple days at least before I can start even thinking about crafting something. Seems calm. Wind chill's negative seven. I'm gonna carry all this over to the deer. Grab some fuel on the way. I think what we're going to end up doing, I think we're going to spend the night here. And then I'm going to leave all my ingredients here and we're just going to set out and try to find another place to stay. This is too far from all the other stuff that I need to explore and I can't afford, well, I can easily afford to stay here, but I don't want to just sit here and wait for everything to cure. So we'll come back and use it to craft later. Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. Alright, no shelter near this deer, so we'll just hope for the best. My sewing kit's almost gone. We're gonna need to find another one before I can craft, I think. Something I didn't consider. Gold, because it really. Come on, little fire. Just failure after failure. I should probably grab a couple more um, of the cat's heads out of the locker when I go back. This is so cold. I just want to lay down. Okay, what's Perfect. the temperature? Negative 19, really. I only have 14 sticks. Alright, coal it is. That's unfortunate. Not gonna mess around. Alright, that's a couple hours. Let's go ahead and, um... Oh, the wind seems to be picking up. That's unfortunate. Well, uh, let's at least get some of these pieces on here. And harvest some of the meat off of this deer. Um, that's fine. Well, get slightly smaller pieces. Really, as soon as I decide to do anything, the wind comes and blows my fire out. So annoying. Now, I'll spend the 10 minutes on this. And we'll see what we can do about the fire. Should have a burn bonus. It's pretty cold. Hey, let me keep it going for a little bit. Um, that's not going to thaw for a while. Okay, so these are good pieces. Can't do anything with this right now. It's letting me maintain it. Um, I don't know. Maybe we go for it. 
29 minutes. What's the fastest thing to grab? Probably the gut with a hacksaw. I don't really need the gut, though. I just need the hide. I can get as many guts as I want from other places. Seems to be holding up now. Nope, never mind. Just threw all my sticks on there for nothing. Well, at the very least, the fire will do what I need to, because this will get to down below. And then I can just um, harvest it and let this thing go out. If I get a chance, I can try to move this fire over there. See, are there any more sticks up here? You know what? No, this is a dumb idea. The weather's terrible. I'm not gonna try to start another fire and cook. Um, we'll just use another match when there's actually a good opportunity. The one thing is that I really need. Um, I don't know, maybe up in here is a good spot. Should be able to grab that hide regardless. Too windy. Wonder if I can block the wind. I don't think you can. It's probably just chance that it let me do that there. Um, well, th so that'll finish. Let's see if we can get this uh, carried over to another spot. Come on, little fire. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. I'm basically starting this just because I need water. The only reason. Let me keep it going. Should I try? I mean, there's no real reason to. Now I'm just gonna let this go. Um, take those over with me in a minute to the other fire. Let's go ahead and grab the hide off of here. It's gonna take 40 minutes. What's on the other fire? Water. This should be good. Should have enough time on it. This fire goes out. I start to get cold. Perfect timing. Okay, got everything I needed off of that deer. Let's just grab all of this. Some charcoal for surveying. I guess I'll do a survey over here. Um, just while I'm cooking and stuff. Do I? If I don't warm up soon. Well, that should be enough time for the survey. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Absolutely nothing <laughs> unlocked on the map. Alright, uh, let's do a prep. I'm gonna go and throw a coal on here. <laughs> kind of silly to be wasting coal on this, but um, this will get me warm enough that I can go pick up some sticks and stuff in a minute. Let's go ahead and do a craft.
And actually, I think what I'm going to do is let's take all this cooked meat back to the trailer, and I can just get my sticks and stuff from over there. I've got plenty of fuel over there. Just need to actually go collect it. We can put this um, hide down to start curing as well. Not that it matters, because we have to get... I think it's either two or three more before we can do anything. All right, well, I managed to get out, um, get a lot out of this without spending another match. Did everything I needed to, to do today. We haven't lost that much health. Probably should start, well, maybe not quite start burning energy for nothing. All right, so we're just going to load up on some sticks. That's good enough. Drop any of this gear. Put some of this coal down. Um, put some water here because we're making more. Uh, let's leave the deer hide here. And we're going to leave all the rabbit meat outside. Now, I've also got a um, pile of sticks over here somewhere, right? I don't remember exactly where I put this. There should be another rabbit around here eventually. Fire's still going strong. I guess I could go get the guts off of that deer. Let's polish these off. Get some more going. go see. Oh yeah, it's nice and warm. Negative seven. Gut is going to take less time with the hacksaw. Go for it. Get some more teas made. Um, we'll do rose hips. Get some more of those prepared as well. Let's go get this other gut. Pretty good setup going here. Need to remember to grab some um, torches as well from that fire. I don't know why I'm picking these up. I think we've established that I will not have a bow this run. Okay, um, running out of stuff to do. I do want to make another batch of water. I have a lot going here. Uh, let's make a couple of keys.
I'm just going to try to get good ones. I've got a lot of sticks back at the base still. And we've got a big pile of them um, somewhere down on the road. Okay, how much time is left here? 46, 30... Uh, let's grab one more of these, put it out. And I guess what I can do is I can carry this fire back. Maybe start another one back at the trailer and make some more water. We'll see. I mean, it's not necessary at this point, but... Let's go ahead and do two of these. Eleven minutes on that. Make a rose hip tea. Hmm, it's actually not going to last long enough. Maybe. One minute. Yeah. Um. actually use the uh, add torch okay got all my stuff solid day's work let's head back do a little bit of running here we'll need to burn some energy before nightfall although let's see I probably still have some more harvesting to do we could harvest some of those um, crates and chairs and stuff in there if I'm just trying to kill time Alright, there's my food stash. Let's go drop these off inside. I'm going to keep this torch on through the save, and um, when I get back here, we'll probably start another fire with some of this extra fuel I've got in here. We can make more water while we break down crates or go gather more sticks or whatever. Uh, let's create a save, having dropped all that. In the next episode, we'll just um, finish up those chores, sleep, heal to uh, probably around 80 to 90%. Then we'll take off in the morning, uh, go down there and explore past that bridge. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching.